I'm testing the automatic efficiency optimization algorithm here using the Raspberry Pi Pico. What this does is there are two fans in the unit and depending on the fan characteristics, any wind that's blowing, any pressure in the building, for example an apartment building often has pressure in it, the, uh, the fans have to be adjusted to optimize the flow of air in both directions. It, has, it should be equal ideally in both directions. So right now it is optimizing it. Everything's running and the reading. Now this uh, is the naive assumption of what the efficiency of the system is. We 96% which is not entirely, it can't be quite right. But um, if the temperature re sensors were reading in the worst possible way, it would be about 92% based on the temperatures of the airflow. Now in reality a little bit of air leaks through in some ways, so it's probably a little bit less than that, but in any case it's very, very good efficiency. Ultimately the air is moving around and this shows clearly that a very, very large fraction of the heat is being recovered, probably more than 90%. So. Uh, I've got two copies of Thony running here, and this is the uh, little algorithm's diagnostic information. It just says uh, it's got the temperature sensor inputs here. It's got one temperature sensor on the outside, one sensor on the inside, and it's trying to minimize the difference between the two temp the two temperatures. So those are just arbitrary numbers. It's a thermocouple, so that's millivolts of uh, difference. It's got the there's quite a bit of random variation in the system in various ways, but uh, all it does is jump around randomly and uh, determine if there's an improvement made. It's the perturb and observe approach. This is used in solar panels for the maximum PowerPoint tracking algorithms and stuff like that. It's pretty basic stuff, but uh, just has to be done. Just more work to do. This whole project is like that. It's just sort of fairly basic uh, engineering stuff, but it's just it's got to be done by somebody. So I uh, know it's good to have that done. I'll just post that software, the firmware, and uh, it sure looks good anyway. If I block one of the ports, like if I put a piece of paper on here or something, I've tried that, and it uh, it takes a while to compensate. It takes a minute or two because it's pretty slow, but uh, this, that's kind of unavoidable because the system has a lot of thermal inertia. So uh, anyway, it seems to work fine. Yeah, so that's it. 96% efficiency according to the reading. There's the graph. The, the green line is the best possible theoretical efficiency. Blue is the reading. And red is the most pessimistic scenario. I'm using uh, these uh, AHT10 temperature sensors and the Raspberry Pi Pico. There's two Picos. One is running the unit itself and one is running the temperature monitoring system. But uh, I gotta dismantle it now. Can't leave it running forever. <laughs>